So I mentioned in the previous video about this chapel here. This is for the chapel where Marilyn Mel Monroe's uh, funeral was held, along with many other actors and actresses that have been here. So here is the chapel here. I don't think much has changed over the years, other than maybe just interior decorations here and there. But other than that, um, looking at some photos, building itself looks the same in the sanctuary of prayer and the east side of the corner building we have actor tim conway you may know him on a carol burnett show conway gained fame for his improvisational skills physical comedy and memorable characters such as the oldest man mr toddball and his ability to make both co-stars and audiences laugh uncontrollably uncontrollably made him a beloved figure in television comedy he passed away on may 14th 2019 but his legacy as a comedic genius and she became the first female owners of a major sports franchise when she inherited the Rams after her husband, Carol Rosenblum, passed away in 1979. Under her ownership, the team won the Super Bowl in 2000 after they moved to St. Louis and L.A. So they were the L.A. Rams and they shipped off to St. Louis for a bit and then came back to L.A. In case you wanted the St. Louis Rams to know that this greatest show on turf back in the early 2000s with that stacked team. Known for her philanthropic efforts, particularly in the arts and education, Frontier was a pioneering figure in professional sports. She passed away on January 8th, 2008, leaving behind a legacy of breaking barriers for women in the sports industry. This would be Eric and Mike's dad, Kirk Douglas, who starred in many iconic films as Spartacus, Path of Glory's champion. Douglas rose to prominence during Hollywood's golden age, became an intense performance and distinctive voice is noted for his humanitarian efforts and received an honorary Academy Award achievements in 1996. Douglas would pass away on February 5th, 2020 at the age of 103. And now we have Eric Douglas, Kirk Douglas' son, follow in his father's footsteps in acting. Eric struggled with personal challenges throughout his life, including substance abuse, and he appeared in several films and television shows but did not achieve the same success as his father. Tragically, Eric Douglas passed away on July 6, 2004, at the age of 46 years old due to an over accidental overdose. His death was profound loss for his family and the entertainment industry. Here we have Ryan O'Neill and Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett was a model and actress. She may know her from her role as Jill Monroe on the television series Charlie's Angels. Fawcett gained fame for her iconic hairstyle and glamorous persona in the 1970s. She starred in films and earned her a critical acclaim for her dramatic roles later in her career. Fawcett's personal life, particularly her relationship with actor Ryan O'Neill Gaynor garnered significant media attention. She battled cancer for several years before she passed away on June 25th, 2009. Now we have Fair Fawcett's husband, Ryan O'Neill. Ryan O'Neill was an actor who started films as Love Story and Paper Moon, which earned him an Oscar nomination. O'Neill's career spanned decades and included both in film and television work. His on and off relationship with Fair Fawcett was a prominent aspect of his personal life and the subject of public entrance. Ryan O'Neill passed away at St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica, California on December 8th, 2023 at the age of 82 years old. His cause of death was congestive heart failure. And now Ryan O'Neill and Fair Fawcett are both laid to rest together here at Pierce Brothers Westwood Village. Merv Griffin, 1925 to 2007, was an American television host, singer, and media mogul. He gained fame as the host of The Merv Griffin Show, a popular talk show that aired from 1962 to 1986. Griffin was also a successful entrepreneur, creating the game shows Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune, which became long-running hits. Beyond television, he was involved in real estate, music, and investments, leaving a lasting impact on American entertainment and media industries. Was a renowned American comedian and actor known for his trademark line, I don't get no respect. His comedy career spans several decades characterized by self-deprecating humor and rapid-fire delivery. 
Dangerfield gained widespread fame for his stand-up routines, appearances on The Tonight Show, and roles in films like Caddyshack and Back to School. His unique style and ability to poke fun at himself endeared him to audiences, making him a beloved figure in the world of comedy. Ray Bradbury, 1920 to 2012, was an influential American author known primarily for his works in science fiction, fantasy, and horror. His most famous novel, Fahrenheit 451, is a dystopian tale about a future society where books are banned and firemen burn any that are found. Bradbury's writing often explored themes of censorship, technology, and the human condition with a poetic and visionary style. He also wrote numerous short stories, such as The Martian Chronicles and Something Wicked This Way Comes, which continue to captivate readers with their imaginative storytelling and uh, deep insights into humanity. In the Guardian of Serenity column bearing with actress Doris Roberts, you may know her for as Marie Barone on the hit TV sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond, which aired from 1996 to 2005. Doris Roberts' career had a prolific career in television, film, and theater spanning six decades. She won five Emmy Awards, four of which were her work on Everybody Loves Raymond. Roberts was celebrated for her comedic timing and ability to bring warmth and death to her characters. She passed away on April 17th, 2016, as she is remembered as a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. How many of you guys lost your Brady Bunch reruns? Right here, raise your hand. You, you, awesome. Anyhow, so yes, we have actress Florence Henderson. So here we have actress Florence Henderson, best known for her iconic role as Carol Brady on the Love and Matrix television sitcom, The Brady Bunch, which aired from 1969 through 1974. Henderson had a versatile career, including stage, film, and television work. She appeared on numerous talk, show, talk shows, including game shows, showcasing her talent and charm. Henderson was known for her warm demeanor and continued to ent entertain audiences throughout her life. She passed away on November 24, 2016, leaving behind a legacy as one of television's most beloved moms. Sage Stallone, 1976-2012 was an American actor, film director, and producer, best known as the eldest son of Sylvester Stallone. He appeared in several films, including Rocky V alongside his father, and later ventured into directing and producing independent films. Sage Stallone tragically passed away at the age of 36 due to coronary artery disease, leaving behind a legacy as a promising talent in the entertainment industry. So I'm standing here at Frank Zappa's on my grave and Frank Zappa passed away on, let's see here, they're according to my notes here, on December 4th, 1993. And uh, his wife Adelaide passed away on October 7th, 2015. And both are here in our mark graves. But as you can see here, Frank Zappa is not there. That's someone else's marker. And whether or not we can verify this information, we will never know. But according to um, findinggrave.com, this would have been Frank Zappa's unmarked grave. Now, as far as his wife, Adelaide, I can't verify the information too because they're showing in the exact same spot over to my right near that tree right there but again i too can't verify this from this information so with that being said what are your best guesses as to where he's at leave a comment down below and let's have a discussion about this If you're coming from the entrance, head straight ahead and make a left right here next to this bench over here. 
We have Jennifer Maria Smine and her daughter, Iva Archer Reeves. Smine worked in the film industry and was romantically involved with actor Keanu Reeves in the late 90s. Tragically, she experienced a loss of her daughter shortly after her birth in 1999, which deeply affected her. Smine passed away in a car accident on April 2, 2001, at the age of 28 years old. Her passing was a shock as many left her a lasting impact those who knew her. I've been watching during the Stanley Cup Finals on SDPN. They always say, please leave a like, tell all your friends, and with that being said, I'll see you guys later.